Chapter 8. Here we go. Let's see where this goes. Come up in. Ears still ringing, Gran picked herself up off the ground. Through the dust and smoke, she looked over to see Mrs. Fratelli helping Hiram Tolliver to his feet. She'd had to beg, borrow, and steal to acquire those explosives. How many nights had she spent visualizing how she'd use them to make things right? And now, her one shot at destroying the source, that damned hole that swallowed so much of her life, was gone. Traded for this jagged hole in a wall and a foolhardy shot at rescuing Rollo. Oh! <laughs> With Fratelli and Tolliver at her side, she stepped through. It was a strange feeling. The last time she'd stalked this maze of hallways, it was in a different body. They quickly rounded a corner to find a group of clipboards guarding a door. Something worth guarding is probably something worth seeing. She leapt forward, brandishing her cane. Yeah, smack him with the cane. If her last chance at vengeance for things lost was truly gone, she would just have to fight to keep what she still had. <laughs> that cane swirl. <laughs> Gran, what are you doing here? Luca, what are you doing here? We're here to save Nelly. We're here to save Rolo. Hey, Mrs. Lucas Gran. It's awful nice of you, but I'm fine. Oh no, what did they- Gran, there's no time to explain. We have to go now. Come on, everyone, we've got a party to crash. All right, let's see how this changes things. Harvest, just as Solomon finished up his speech. Thankfully, we can dispense with the formalities from here on out. Solomon pulled a glass vial from his pocket. I'm gonna know right now. I could just- he could be behind Solomon's head here. I don't see... Um... Nun Creed. I don't see Nun Creed here. I don't think. I've gotta stop him. In one smooth motion, he downed its contents. A triumphant smile grew across Solomon's lips. No! Well, I guess that's it. We lost. Oh, wouldn't be too sure about that. With a mischievous look, Beck elbowed Luca. Remember when I had the vial behind my back? I might have tweaked his wonder potion. Oh, with a little... Chat. What are we tweaking his potion with? Junk? Change? Or malice? Which way are we gonna go about it, chat? Malice? You think? I'm curious what these outcomes are gonna be. Malice? Malice? Alright. I might have tweaked his wonder potion with a little malice. Let's see. I was hoping shit was gonna be on the list, too. <laughs> malice. The whiskey from his office? Yep, dude had an unfinished glass on his desk. Figured his grow juice could use a little hair of the dog. You can all call me Sharper Valentine. His body and face began to contort and expand as he disappeared into a belching green mist. Excuse me? What? <laughs> now that's what I call eaty poof whiskey. <laughs> Damn, dude. Pop goes the weasel. Watch Sharper Valentine pop into confetti. At the now empty stage. The quiet was broken when William Kerr sprinted off stage and into the distance. He was never seen around Beacon Pines, or anywhere else for that matter, again. What? <laughs> Watching the silhouette of Kerr disappear over the horizon, Luca began to laugh. First, a low chuckle that became uncontrolled, heaving laughter. Through his tears, he was vaguely aware that the crowd had begun to laugh with him. The end. Okay, I need to see the others, though. That was... unexpected. Perhaps a bit of an absurd ending for my taste, but 
Who am I to say? I'm only writing the damn thing. Chat, we need to see the others. I think we've done everything else that we can do. All right, what do we want to do next? Change or junk? I'm so curious. <laughs> junk, junk. With a mischievous look back elbowed Luca. Remember when I had the vial behind my back? I might have tweaked his wonder potion with a little junk. I might have tweaked his wonder potion with a little junk. Can't wait to see the look on his face and he realizes he drank his own cigar ash. How did ashes get into the vial? It's pretty easy to mess with the vial when it was behind my back. Oh, that's sneaky. Well, it's a bad habit always. Anyways. Always said bad habits are like 50 yard field goals. Huh? Hard to kick. You can all call me Sharper Valentine. His body and face began to contort and expand as he disappeared into a belching green mist. That's why you don't smoke. Don't do it. Don't do it, chat. Well, that's one way to kick a bad habit. As the last of what was once Sharper Valentine wafted into the air, the crowd began to disperse, still numb from what they had just observed. He didn't even get to say, I don't feel so well, Mr. Stark. <laughs> Avery, hello, how are you doing? I hope that you've been good. Sharper Valentine was gone for good. Hey, Butch. Reminds you end game. His end would be a new beginning for Beacon Pines. A new chance to let go of the things they had lost and grab hold of a new future. The end. Well, I'd be lying if I said that wasn't a bit gratifying. If that feels to you like a good note to end on, I won't stand in your way. Change. I might tweet this wonder potion with a little change. I might have tweaked his wonder potion with a little change. Like pocket change? You're unlucky penny. Yeah, I plopped in the vial when no one was looking. That's also gross. What's that gonna do? No idea, that's the beauty of science. Now we observe. You can call me Sharper. Valentine. His body and face began to contort and expand as he disappeared into a belching green mist. Holy crap, he's a baby? Yeah, but he's still sharper, right? What he was no longer matters. <laughs> Look at his face! This is an innocent child. I apologize for all the harm my father has caused you. Eris awkwardly cradled the squirming child. She looked to her brother, her voice shaking with uncertainty. Augustus, what do we... We do what Valentines always do. What must be done? I'll hurry home and prepare a crib for father or young sharper. I thought she was gonna kick him at first too. <laughs> that would be a great help, thank you. She looked back down at the infant with equal parts kindness and terror in her eyes. With a shake of her head, Eris addressed the crowd with a stern scowl. Okay, everyone, the show is over. You may leave now. It is. This game is gorgeous.